Did you know? In ancient Greece, pigeons delivered the results of the Olympic Games. Amazing, isn't it? Please come, let's begin. The American white pelican, Pelicanus erythrohinchos, is a large aquatic soaring bird from the order Pelicaniforms. It breeds in interior North America, moving south and to the coasts, as far as Central America and South America, in winter. It rivals the trumpeter swan, with a similar overall length, as the longest bird native to North America. The species has the second largest average wingspan of any North American bird, after the California condor. This large wingspan allows the bird to easily use soaring flight for migration. The plumage is almost entirely bright white, except the black primary and secondary remiges, which are hardly visible except in flight. From early spring until after breeding has finished in mid-late summer, the breast feathers have a yellowish hue. After molting into the eclipse plumage, the upper head often has a grey hue, as blackish feathers grow between the small wispy white crest. The bill is huge and flat on the top, with a large throat sac below, and in the breeding season, is vivid orange in colour, as is the iris, the bare skin around the eye, and the feet. In the breeding season, there is a laterally flattened horn on the upper bill, located about one-third the bill's length behind the tip. This is the only one of the eight species of pelican to have a bill horn. The horn is shed after the birds have mated and laid their eggs. Outside the breeding season the bare parts become duller in color, with the naked facial skin yellow and the bill, pouch, and feet an orangey flesh color. Apart from the difference in size, males and females look exactly alike. Immature birds have light gray plumage with darker brownish nape and remiges. Their bare parts are dull gray. Chicks are naked at first, then grow white down feathers all over, before molting to the immature plumage. Unlike the brown pelican, the American white pelican does not dive for its food. Instead it catches its prey while swimming. Each bird eats more than 4 pounds of food a day, mostly fish such as Cipriniforms like common carp, Lahontantui chub, and shiners. The nest is a shallow depression scraped in the ground, into which some twigs, sticks, reeds or similar debris have been gathered. After about one week of courtship and nest building, the female lays a clutch of usually two or three eggs, sometimes just one, sometimes up to six. Both parents incubate for about one month. The young leave the nest three to four weeks after hatching. At this point, usually only one young per nest has survived. They spend the following month in a creche or pod, molting into immature plumage and eventually learning to fly. After fledging, the parents care for their offspring some three more weeks, until the close family bond separates in late summer or early fall, and the birds gather in larger groups on rich feeding grounds in preparation for the migration to the winter quarters. They migrate south by September or October. Let's take a break and please get back soon. See you and take care.